July 5th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, 1 Corinthians chapter 16 of the New Testament. With regard to the collection for the saints, please follow the directions that I gave to the churches of Galatia. On the first day of the week, each of you should set aside some income and save it to the extent that God has blessed you, so that a collection will not have to be made when I come. Then when I arrive, I will send those whom you approve with letters of explanation to carry your gift to Jerusalem. And if it seems advisable that I should go also, they will go with me. But I will come to you after I have gone through Macedonia, for I will be going through Macedonia, and perhaps I will stay with you or even spend the winter, so that you can send me on my journey wherever I go. For I do not want to see you now in passing, since I hope to spend some time with you, if the Lord allows. But I will stay in Ephesus until Pentecost, because a door of great opportunity stands wide open for me, but there are many opponents. Now if Timothy comes, see that he has nothing to fear among you, for he is doing the Lord's work, as I am too. So then, let no one treat him with contempt, but send him on his way in peace, so that he may come to me, for I am expecting him with the brothers. With regard to our brother Apollos, I strongly encouraged him to visit you with the other brothers, but it was simply not his intention to come now. He will come when he has the opportunity. Stay alert, stand firm in the faith, show courage, be strong. Everything you do should be done in love. Now, brothers and sisters, you know about the household of Stephanus, that as the first converts of Achaia, they devoted themselves to ministry for the saints. I urge you also to submit to people like this and to everyone who cooperates in the work and labors hard. I was glad about the arrival of Stephanus, Fortunatus, and Achaicus, because they have supplied the fellowship with you that I lacked, for they refresh my spirit and yours. So then recognize people like this. The churches in the province of Asia send greetings to you. Aquila and Prisca greet you warmly in the Lord with the church that meets in their house. All the brothers and sisters send greetings. Greet one another with a holy kiss. I, Paul, send this greeting with my own hand. Let anyone who has no love for the Lord be accursed. Our Lord, come. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with you. My love be with all of you in Christ Jesus. God, what a beautiful verse. Verse 14. Everything you do should be done in love. I hope that everyone listening to this prayer today and watching this video writes that down some place where they can see it throughout the day everything you do should be done in love I don't think we can get very far off of your will if if we're doing that if we're doing everything that should be done in love if we're doing everything that is your will from the love that you have for us I think about that uh, when I'm traveling and I get this amazing opportunity to watch lots and lots of people interact and interact with their spouses and their children and even strangers. And it's incredibly fascinating to me, the people who show kindness and grace and even manners to a certain extent, uh, who, who truly show uh, a unique level of love in this world. And how sad that that is unique now. But that's not that's not what you're talking about here. Everything you do, or that's not what Paul's talking about here. Everything you do should be done in love. And we're talking about everything you do should be done. Your will be done, God, in love. And it's that perfect self-sacrificing love that you have, God. And that you show to us all the time with grace and mercy. What if we, with every person we encountered treated them at least a percentage of how much you love us that we treated everyone else that way <sighs> that's a little bit mind-boggling i mean to think of all the wars that we have currently going on and the terrorist acts and the government spying and the big corporations and all this stuff going on 
None of that's even being done out of kindness, much less self-sacrificing love. God, help us as we go through today to keep this verse in our in our thoughts, in our processes. Help us keep it right in front of us that everything we do should be done in love. In your love, God. In your self-sacrificing love. And help provide that strength to do that. You know, in Second Philippians, you talk about that, that you will give us the strength and the desire to do what pleases you. And I know loving others like you love us is not only something you command, but I know it pleases you as well. God, help us when we have that tone that comes into our heart and then obviously out in our voice. When somebody's cut us off in traffic or a person checking us out in the grocery store is being rude to us or somebody's just annoyed us we've just kind of had it and we lash out at somebody allow us allow us that strength to stop and realize we have no idea what that person is going through maybe the person who just cut us off in traffic is rushing to the hospital because because their husband just got in a car accident Maybe the clerk who is really grouchy at us, maybe her marriage is breaking up and they just had a big fight. doesn't mean that it's fair that they take it out on us, but we're not called to be revengeful. We're called to do everything in love. I had an opportunity once where I had a, actually a flight attendant who was acting that way, just belligerent towards me. And finally, I pulled her aside up in the front cabin so that other people couldn't hear. Uh, I didn't want to admonish her in front of other people. And I just said, is there something I did to you that's causing you to act this way? Um, because if there's something, I, I apologize for it. And she burst into tears and she said, no, no, no. I'm on, I'm on my way to a funeral. My friend was killed. And because the flight's delayed, I may miss the memorial service or the funeral. And she was really upset. And so it didn't even have anything to do with me or any of the other passengers. She was just incredibly agitated. And, and we're called to love everyone. We're not called to love the easy people. We're not called to love only Christians. We're not called to, to love only people who believe the way we do. We're actually called to love everyone. So today, God, in our hearts, allow verse 14, everything you do should be done in love to just resonate throughout all of our relationships, whether known or unknown to us today. Allow us to be mirrors of your amazing love for other people. In your son's name, I pray. Amen. <music>